Have you ever wondered who is responsible for setting the interest rates that govern our economic activities? Enter the Federal Reserve. This powerful institution, often simply referred to as the Fed, is the United States central banking system. It's the puppet master pulling the strings of our nation's interest rates, and it has been since its establishment over a century ago. The structure of the Federal Reserve is a fascinating mix of public and private elements, a balancing act designed to keep it independent, yet accountable. It's a complex beast, but at its heart, its mission is simple, to promote maximum employment, stable prices, and moderate long-term interest rates. That's a tall order, and it's why the Fed is always in the spotlight, constantly scrutinized. So, the Federal Reserve has a big role in our economy, but how do they determine these all-important interest rates? Let's delve into that in the next scene. Well, it's not as simple as pulling a number out of a hat, in fact, it's a fascinating process. Now let's dive into the mechanics of how the Federal Reserve, or the Fed as it's commonly known, determines interest rates. At the heart of this process is the Federal Open Market Committee, or the FOMC. This committee meets eight times a year, in a series of what are undoubtedly high-stakes meetings. They gather around, armed with data and insights, to evaluate the current state of the economy. It's their job to decide whether to increase, decrease, or maintain the same level of interest rates. So how do they do it? What informs these decisions? The answer is a combination of economic indicators. Let's talk about some of these key indicators. First up, is inflation. If prices are rising too quickly the FOMC might increase interest rates to cool down the economy. On the other hand, if inflation is too low, they could reduce rates to stimulate spending and investment. Next, we have the unemployment rate. High unemployment can signal an economy in distress. To combat this, the FOMC might lower interest rates to encourage businesses to invest and hire more workers. Lastly, we have gross domestic product or GDP growth. If the economy is growing too slowly, the FOMC could reduce rates to stimulate economic activity. Conversely, if the economy is overheating, they might raise rates to prevent it from getting out of control. These indicators, together with a host of others, help the FOMC to make an informed decision on interest rates. It's a delicate balancing act as they strive to maintain economic stability while promoting growth. So, the FOMC uses these indicators to make an informed decision on interest rates, but what does this mean for you and me? Stay tuned as we delve into the impact of these interest rates on our everyday lives in the next scene. The decisions made by the Federal Reserve impact our daily lives more than you might think. Let's delve into how this happens. Interest rates set by the Federal Reserve influence our ability to borrow money. When rates are low, it's cheaper to take out loans, making it easier for individuals and businesses to borrow and spend. This spending spurs economic activity, igniting a cycle of growth. This might sound like a win-win situation, right? But there's more to the story. The interest rates also affect the returns on our savings. Lower interest rates typically mean lower returns on savings accounts, bonds, and other interest-bearing assets. This can discourage people from saving and push them to spend or invest, fueling economic activity further. But here's the catch. If interest rates are kept low for too long, it can lead to inflation. That's when the prices of goods and services start to rise. Suddenly your dollars don't stretch as far as they used to. The cost of living goes up, and if wages don't keep pace it can squeeze households and businesses. So, you see the Federal Reserve has a delicate balancing act to perform. They have to keep interest rates low enough to stimulate economic growth, but not so low that it triggers runaway inflation. Thus, the Federal Reserve's decisions on interest rates play a crucial role in balancing economic growth and inflation. So, we've seen how the Federal Reserve determines interest rates and the impact it has on our lives. This powerful institution plays a crucial role in our economy, setting the rates that influence everything from your mortgage to your savings account. These rates, in turn, have far-reaching effects on our economy's health and our personal financial well-being. Next time you hear about the Federal Reserve in the news, remember, it's not just about numbers and percentages. It's about the health of our economy and the financial well-being of every American.